Matthew Hudson Smith is 28 years of age from Great Britain. Took the bronze medal in Oregon last year. Samu Kanga is the only person this year under 44 seconds flat. Is that about to change in a little while here because of the presence of this man? And all those jaw drops when he set the world record in Rio in lane eight. Great to see him back on the track and trying to get back into championship form. Vernon Norwood has three world championship goals with Team USA in the 4x4, including last year when Team USA took home yet another world title in the mile relay. Botswana has always produced good 400-meter athletes, and Ndori is the next one, 23 years of age, made the world championship final last year, finishing in sixth. South Africa's Nene, usually teams with Van Niekerk on the 4x4, his personal best, 44-74. And Zambrano, who was Olympic silver in Tokyo, will run a tight race in lane number one. Yeah, you see that personal best, 43-9, but he's been nowhere near the form that got him that silver at the Olympic Games. But what a wa mouth-watering matchup this is. The two fastest men in the world. And quite frankly, Van Nieker, kind of like we saw with Femke Bowl just a while ago, has been improving with every race. But he's going to be tested here, as is Samukanga. That world lead, 43-91. Set back in late April in Botswana. Sam Okonga in six, Van Niekerk in five for the men's 400. And we're underway here in Oslo at 400 meters. Maybe a little separation to the outside with Van Niekerk now down the back stretch. I'll tell you why I like Van Niekerk's chances. We know how well he finishes, so unless Samu Kanga is going to create so much space between him and the world record holder, I just feel like what I've seen this year indicates that Wade Van Nieker can win this race, and he's already well in front. That's Hudson Smith out in lane number seven, but now in the middle of the track, the Rio Olympic champion, Wade Van Nieker. And here comes the youngster at the line, but he's not going to get him at the end as Norwood, I think, will fall to third. But he's the first to congratulate Van Niekerk, who takes the win here in Oslo. 44-38 now officially the winning time. This is a big test that Wade Van Niekerk passed here because I think this is the first field that he has faced where... You had multiple people who could legitimately stop him from crossing the line first. Whenever he lines up against the Olympic champion, Stephen Gardner of the Bahamas, that, I think, will be his final test. And we may have to wait until the World Championship final for that. But Wade Van Nieker, looking like he's just turned back the clock. This looks like any race that he ran between 2015, 2016, and 2017. And what did he do in those three years? He was world champion twice, Olympic champion, and he also broke the world record. This looks like a guy who could be world champion for the third time later this summer. Norwood, the American, season's best for the former LSU star. And how about in fourth, the youngster, 20-year-old Ingevoldsen, a new Norwegian national record on home soil in Oslo.